Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Peaceful by Rector Rocks. Easy to medium, a new view on a beautiful lay- Oh my gosh, turrets! This puzzle was going to be much, much, much simpler, but after a ton of edits, I managed to get at least two of the mechanics I wanted, as well as adding an extra turret hunt. I'm proud of it. However, since I managed to use the turrets in a more logic-centered manner than a combat approach manner... Combat slash approach manner? What? What is- what does that mean? <laughs> anyway, it says good luck, so... We will take that good luck and throw it right back at Hugo's face. And then wipe it off his face, because that was rude. Hello, turrets. So yeah, uh... It is difficult to use turrets properly, because, uh... In the main game, turrets were used as something you had to logically find a way to disable or avoid, but the way they usually get used in community maps is just as an annoyance. So it is quite difficult to understand how turrets are intended to be used, and to use them correctly. And for that reason, I'd almost, I almost never use turrets. If you want to see a good example of how to use turrets correctly, you should play the Talos Principle maps by Flooper. Which I will put a link to in the description if I remember, and if I've forgotten, please leave a comment reminding me. And this is yet another single portal gun puzzle, so that's cool. What the? Is it just me, or does that guy's laser beam stop at that guy? What? I thought... I thought they would go through other turrets at the... what? I didn't know that could be a thing. I wanna look at that. Holy crap, that the turrets actually stop their beams. That is not something I expected at all. <laughs> Alright, well then. Okay, so firstly, what do we want to do here? So we certainly can't go through there just yet. Oh, whoopsie. Do that, please. Oh, actually, is there stuff we can do here, I wonder? Oh, I didn't even- You know what, it would probably help a lot if I actually pressed this button, you know? <laughs> just, I guess here. I'm just guessing. I always do that, I walk into maps and then I completely forget to push buttons. Oh, hello there. Wasn't that interesting? Don't deploy on me. Alright, so we needed to do this to get past this fizzler. And then what? Do we have to ninja grab that guy? I believe we do. So let's see. What? What that? Whoops, I hit- I hit the wrong keys. That was entirely... the wrong keys. So let's try this again. Oh man, those guys actually shot at me that time. The nerve. The nerve, I tell you. No, no, you don't see me. There we go. There's that guy eliminated. No idea if that was intended, but I will take it. Next question, how do I get rid of any of the other guys? Do I just use the traditional approach? Yeah, since that guy's gone, I can easily take that guy out. So let's go ahead and work on that. And I've already messed up. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yep, not enough of an angle to use the light bridge as a defense mechanism. So instead we just gotta abuse the sleep timer, I'm guessing. 
Or we could do this. This works too. <laughs> Why didn't I do that a long time ago? Alright, so. Now that we've done that... We can... Figure out how to get over there. Which I think I can do quite easily, actually. I do that. There we go. That allows me to walk here, and... ooh. Wow. Talk about... pro... placements of items. <laughs> That's actually really clever. <laughs> Using the dropper to block my path. This is like something you'd see in The Witness. <laughs> and, uh, Knock will understand what I'm talking about, and Deathwish will too, but... Uh, if you haven't played The Witness, you won't understand what I'm talking about. Alright, we gotta figure out an alternative strategy here. I know what I can do. So first, place the portal there again. We're gonna fire on this wall. There we go! That's how you get around it. Very clever, Hugo. I love that a lot. <laughs> Alright, and then we get an edgeless safety cube. Straight from the Max Von Stratton factory. Okay, and then... Looks like we just need to swap stuff around. That shouldn't be too hard. This is a regular button. Wow, how did I do that? <laughs> Look at that, Deathwish! Alright, so, uh, let's get this fixed up. There we go. Okay, so now... Now, now, now... Ooh, boy. Okay, we have to do this temporarily. There we go, and then we can put this guy back on the button, and I will be sad days if it does not restabilize. Hey, it restabilized! Hooray! Huzzah! Well, that startled me. <laughs> Come on, there we go. And so then, we just do this part again. <laughs> Fire there. Did I say pyre? I meant to say fire. Put the cube in the cube receptacle. And then we just need to get the edge of the safety cube onto that button instead. Looks like that shouldn't be too difficult, actually. Yeah, in fact, that's really easy. And look, seems like we are done. Yep. Well, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that looks like these right here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!